the table camera. Give me one sec. And I'll get started right away. All right. Now, if you haven't done so yet, um, the best thing if I were you to do is pin Mr. Mill. That way you could see me nice and large on your screen. Okay. So if you can't see me and I'm a little tiny uh, block on your computer screen, you can click on it just by clicking the little pin icon on my little hand right here. And then it should make me a little bit bigger on your screen. All right, with that said, let's get started. Let's talk about what we did last week on this art workbook. All right, here we go. So last week, we talked about putting our name on the front of the workbook. Great. Once we open it up, so you guys can follow along with me if you'd like. We're gonna open it up. And then we talked about lines. We talked about straight lines wavy lines, zigzag lines, dashed lines, squiggly lines, castle lines, shark lines, and we even talked about swirls. All right, and then what we did is that we made a picture, like how I did over here, based on all of those lines. So some people did this kind of theme, some people made like a beach like this one right here, and it was a really fun project, right? So today what we're going to do is we're going to flip the page to the next one. So take the page, flip it over, and it should say scissors. Now what I like to do to make it look more, uh, a little bit better and more uh, easier to understand, I like to place my scissors, I like to try to put it on top of the drawn scissors on the paper like this. I try to make sure the small hole's on top and the big hole is on the bottom right there like that. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to read it to you guys, and you guys can follow along. You guys ready? Here we go. All right, it says scissors. Scissors are a very important art tool. We use them to turn large items into smaller items. It's very important that we are safe with our scissors. Hold them closed and only cut paper and yarn and cut away from our body. All right, let's talk about what these holes are. You guys ready? Here we go. The small hole in the scissors is for your thumb. The large hole in the scissors is for your first three fingers. So my first finger, my middle finger, and my ring finger. Those three fingers. All right. And then it says, but what do you do with your other hand? What do you do with your other hand? It says you're going to hold your paper or your yarn while you're holding the scissors on the other side. Now it says, now we're ready to cut. Great, why don't we practice this? You guys ready? All right, we're gonna pick up my scissors. Who can tell me, where does my thumb go? Can anyone raise their hand and tell me? Where's my thumb go? Where does, Luke, where's my thumb go? In the, in the circle. The small circle, good job. All right, where does my, where does my three fingers go? Anyone know? Jaden. In the oval. In the oval, great job. I wanna put my three fingers here. And most importantly, you wanna make sure you're pointing them away from your body. And then our other hand is gonna hold the paper. But let's be safe about this. Let's put the scissors down real quick. And let's just turn the paper with two hands. Ready? Here we go. I'm holding paper. Here we go. All right. Once you turn the page, it should look kind of like this. If you're like Kaylee and if you don't have the packet, she's holding it up for you guys. Uh, she, it will just be looking like this, which is great. Now, the next step, this is going to be a little bit more difficult. If it's stapled together, I want you guys to take this page and try to remove it from the packet. Like this. Now it's out. See? Now I removed it from the packet. I can hold it with my hand. You guys try to do that for me? Try to remove it from your packet? Try to do this. Try to remove it. Try to remove it from your packet. Okay. I'm just typing out the directions so people, just in case of people have trouble with the audio still? All right. All right, next step. 
we're going to be making sure that we understand the direction. So here we go. It says, I can learn lines. Let's practice cutting the lines by cutting on the dotted line. So these are all dotted different types of lines. So we have straight dotted lines. We have wavy dotted lines and so on, which is great. Now, next step. We don't want to hold the paper like this. That would be kind of weird. And it'll be hard for us to cut like at an angle like that. So the best way to hold it is if you turn your paper horizontally. Now, if I hold my paper down here and away from my first line, which is basically the straight line, my hand is going to be safe from the scissors. So again, let's try to practice holding the scissors. I put my thumb in the small hole, and I put my three fingers on the bigger hole like this. And I'm pointing away from me. I'm not pointing towards me. I'm pointing away from me. All right. So now I know that my other hand is very far away, and my, my scissor hand is nice and safe to start cutting. If you are a lefty, it'll look kind of like this. And if you, if you want, as a lefty, you can kind of turn the paper over like this. That way the straight line's by your left hand. But if you're a righty, you can make sure that the straight line is towards your right hand like this, okay? Once you're ready, you may start to try to cut the first line as best you can. I'm gonna start cutting, and you guys can start cutting with me too. It's okay if it's not perfect. I'm gonna go all the way across, and that way, this part should be falling off like that. Try. Go ahead. Try that. Let me just put my packet away so you guys can see. There. So I just cut the first one so far. All right. Let me just type it out. I just typed in the first direction just in case if people cannot hear me still. All right, we have three minutes left, which is all right. So if we don't finish today, not a big deal. All right, once you're done with the straight line, you can move on to the next one. The next one is wavy line. So this one's a little bit harder. So sometimes it's a lot better and easier if you have smaller scissors. But if you have big scissors like me, it's going to be a lot harder to cut these nice wavy lines. So Mr. Mill is doing a good job so far by cutting his wavy lines. But if you go by accident and go like this, uh-oh, Mr. Mill made a mistake. If you make a mistake, it's okay. It's just practice. So if you just make a mistake like how I did, just keep going and try to finish it off. Just keep, keep going and try to finish it off. So again, I'm going to make a mistake. See, uh-oh, made a mistake. It's okay. And then that should fall off too. Ta da! So the wavy line is done. All right. As you keep going, you're going to go to the zigzag line next, followed by the scallop line, tassels, and shark line on your own, unless you run out of time. Okay, with that said, I'm going to turn around my camera and you guys can keep working. One sec. So keep keep working, guys. Ooh. All right, let me just double check our time. All right, it's 9.28. So we have another two minutes left. I see Phoenix cutting really good. Awesome. Vincenzo's cutting, Vinny's cutting really good. I think Lila finished early. Nice, awesome. I see Evelyn cu cutting really nicely. Bond's cutting a good, good job. Great job, guys. Yasin is holding his up. Nice. You don't have to hold it up, but you can if you want. Good job, guys. All right. Uh, the time now is 929. Now, if you're like me, and if you didn't finish the paper, that's okay. You could just um, finish it next time or whenever you get the chance. Okay. And you don't have to finish it if you don't have the time at home. So if you don't have the time to finish it, that's okay too. So with that said, uh, art class is gonna be over. So I'm going to make sure I stop recording. There we go.